Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, now we are going to part five. So, for assigning wind load, we need to provide diaphragm, and this diaphragm also used for seismic loading. Now here we can see different type of diaphragm. Here. You can see rigid diaphragm versus semi rigid diaphragm. Rigid diaphragm have infinite in plane stiffness properties and therefore they neither exhibit membrane deformation nor report the associated forces. Whereas semi rigid diaphragm simulate actual in place in plane stiffness properties and behavior. For most reinforced concrete slab system in which the slab is sufficiently thick and membrane deformation due to lateral loading is negligible rigid diaphragm produce results nearly identical identical to those of semi rigid diaphragm while taking advancing so rigid diaphragm uh, confirms our rigid diaphragm used for faster computation semi rigid diaphragm should be modeled when significant in plane deformation does occur or when required by code in code we can see rigid diaphragm condition as per ASC is rigid diaphragm of concrete slab or concrete field metal deck with a span to depth ratio 3 to 1 or less i.e. that means length by depth should be less than 3 less or equal 3 then we can and in structure having no horizontal irregularities are permitted to be idealized as rigid so for rigid diaphragm to condition horizontal irregularities should not be there and length by depth of the floor area rigid diaphragm area having length and depth width so that length divided by width if comes more than 3 then we cannot provide rigid diaphragm if it is less or equal to 3 then we can provide rigid diaphragm for ex example here here floor depth or width is like this is and here the length is like this so length is more than 3 times so here you cannot provide example of diaphragm that might not be considered rigid in its plan so here we cannot provide rigid diaphragm but in here in our structure as it is regular and length by width ratio is 1 less than 3 so we can provide rigid diaphragm for defining wind load why we are we need to provide diaphragm before providing load pattern wind load pattern we will see here w add sorry w wind upc 97 add here if we go for this story diaphragm here no data is available so we need to provide diaphragm before defining wind load pattern so here cancel go to first floor select xy plan then diaphragm here we can see this diaphragm this one rigid we can provide rigid diaphragm ok apply so diaphragm assignment finished now we can go for meshing select object type floor 1 or close 
assign floor automesh will go for 12 inch or 15 inch more smaller size will give more accurate load distribution or load divide division to the peripheral beams and columns apply okay go to ps your selection assign wall automesh here we will provide 1.5 feet apply now we can go for wind load pattern here w x w x point ubc 97 and new load here modify lateral load here you, we can see now all the floors having the diaphragm and center of rigidity here i will go for 0 degree click on ok and here CQ coefficient we will calculate here our length and width of the building is 40 feet by 40 feet and height of the building is here bottom is 12 feet ground floor 12 feet and another all we can calculate this one 11 into 9 plus 12 111 and if we consider this is stair top plus 8 1 on 1 plus 8 so 119 1 on 19 1 on 9 feet so wind direction perpendicular to y that means wind along x axis which is perpendicular to y 0 degree so here it will come coefficient 1.48 1.48 in the layout side we can uh, provide minimum leeward coefficient leeward coefficient is very important or sensitive in case of uh, the sloped roof as it is flat roof so here we can consider 0.1 wind speed in this building location it will be 130 1 mile per hour exposure type b importance factor 1 it will be great beam to start up like this so click on ok now i will go for w y direction add new load modify net lateral here i will go for 90 degree click on ok here we can see i think same coefficient will come as it is having same length and width of the building so press x 90 degree it will come 1.48 1.48 0.1 131b1 1 here grade beam 2 is tear top click on ok now we can see here this is 0 degree and here this is 90 degree so this is y direction so click on ok so wind load pattern definition finished now we can go for mass source this is used for lateral load effect in analysis we will go for specified load pattern we will consider 100% of dead load during the earthquake and live load 25% ok ok so now we will go for 
these measures done load pattern done now i'll go for load cases here i will add q x minus load case for opposite direction add copy of load case q x minus minus one okay now here add copy q y minus scale minus one for opposite direction here you see it will consider my source that one we have defined then wind load add copy double x minus minus one okay and w i w i minus minus one okay so this is our load cases click on ok now if we go for load combination at default design load combination before that we will check our design code ACI 31814 it is ok and here other things ok so we will go for default design load combination at default load combination here concrete frame design when we will go for share all design we will add that one when we will go for slab design we will use that one first we will go for concrete frame design so click on ok if i want to uh, use this combination editable Later on, if we want to edit, we, we can select this one, convert to user combination so that we can edit this one. So, here I will not use that one, click on OK. So, this is our 34 load combination as per ACI 31814. And here we have the different type of load cases. So, as per that one, it has calculated 34 number of load combination for example you can see this is q y minus this is partition one dead plus q x minus in this way define define load combination and then if we would not assign q x minus q y minus w x minus w y minus then this load combination number would be reduced so click on ok done so we are ready for analysis and design before that we will check our model check model you can provide the link tolerance tolerance for check for example 0 0.1 inch this tolerance we hope there is no warning in our model we will check select all click on ok so model has been checked no warning message are generated so in this way we can finish our modeling of a 10 storied residential building in ETAPS in the next tutorial we will go for analysis and design so thanks for watching stay tuned for more tutorials Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.